Today, I want to introduce you to a quote, if you don't know it already, from James Dean. And the quote is, dream as if you'll live forever, live as if you'll die today. And that is a really interesting quote for a number of reasons. And lately, I've been in the habit or somehow, I'm not sure that I would call it a habit, but several times lately as I've been looking at various quotes, my mind has kind of juxtaposed the words. And in juxtaposing the words, it changes the meaning of the quote, but it also sometimes, and I've found often, gives you a different kind of quote that also gives you information. So, so this first occurred the other day when I was talking about a quote and it said, when you want to succeed as much as you want to breathe, then you will be successful. And it got me thinking that when you want to breathe as much as you want to be successful, you will be able to breathe. So in today's quote, James Dean says, dream as if you'll live forever live as if you'll die today. And I know what is meant by it, but I want to just throw some other ideas out at you in response to this quote. So generally when people say live every day as if it's your last, live as if you'll die today. Okay. Um, so that's a very interesting quote. And what that means is, is live every day as if it's your last, last, and live as if you'll die today, what they're saying is do the things that you want to do, do the things that move you, do the things that you've always hoped for, the bucket list, okay? Check off an item on your bucket list. And um, it's good advice. It's good advice, but I'm gonna say it's good advice in moderation. Why do I say that, okay? One of the themes that keeps coming up in boot camp is the theme of moderation, but not so much moderation as much as um, I would say, let's see, nuance, okay? So I say often that things are not typically black or white, okay? And what, what is meant by that obviously is that there's not always just black and white. Most things are shades of gray and most things are nuanced. And in, in, in my world, certainly things are neither black nor white nor gray. They're multicolored. But my point in saying this is that live as if you'll die today. If I knew I was going to die today, there might be certain things that I would be willing to do or willing to try that I might not necessarily be willing to do or willing to try if I knew I had to live another 20 years with it, okay? So for example, if you knew that you were about to junk your car today, you might consider entering it in a demolition derby, which is something that you've always wanted to do. But what if you did so and then found out you had to keep that car for another 20 years? That might be a decision you regret or want to walk back a little bit. Now that being said, I'm not cautioning you. I'm not nervous nailing you. I'm not naysaying you. I'm not telling you to not live your life. Quite the opposite. I'm a believer in living your life to the fullest. But when it comes to health, okay, what's really important, when it comes to your health, live as if you will live forever and therefore will continue to need and require the use of your body and your mind, okay? So again, if today is my last day, there might be things I'm willing to do, but guess what? When our grandparents and our great-grandparents were kids, the life expectancy was very low. Now the life expectancy is very high, so it doesn't matter if you're 50 or 60 or 70 or even 80, okay? For all we know, you may have another 10 or 20 years in you, okay? And you may have more than that. And the idea is think about how you want to live those next 10 or 20 or 30 years just in case, okay? 
Most people don't set out on a plan to become debilitated and unable to care for themselves. Most people don't set out on a plan to be broke and homeless. Most people don't set out on a plan to be stuck in a situation that they have very little control of, okay? But my point in telling you this is that if you don't plan for something different, then very often you don't have a choice. So my point in saying is that plan now. So my point in saying this is that you don't know if you're gonna die today or tomorrow or the next day, okay? Or in 10 years or 30 years or 50 years. But wouldn't it be nice to have some insurance that if you do live those 20 years, you will be able to remain independent. You will be able to remain in your home. You will be able to breathe well and get around easily and do all the things that you need to do and shower and bathe yourself and dress yourself and prepare your own meals and occasionally go out and have some fun, make it to the theater, go see your grandchildren play soccer, etc., etc., etc. So my point is that yeah, dream as if you'll live forever, okay? To me, dreams, it's funny when people talk about dreams, you say, well, what are your dreams? I have a dream of becoming a basketball player, okay? Well, that might be a pipe dream, okay? But I had a dream of creating an online program and they say, dream as if you'll live forever. When I dream, I dream as if I will die today. So James Dean said, dream as if you live forever, live as if you'll die today. I am working on living as if I'll live forever and dreaming as if I'll die today. And what do I mean by that? Okay, um, without getting too personal, um, some of you know, those who know me certainly know that I have lost several people very young in their 30s, including my best friend at the age of 38, including my brother at the age of 37, I am 48 right now, okay? And the thing is that I certainly don't have a plan to live to 88 like some of my patients or 98 like some of my other patients. If it comes, believe me, I will embrace it, but I don't know and I don't take it for granted. And I know for sure that tomorrow is not promised, okay? Another kind of quote that we hear over and over again. And so the idea is, I have certain dreams. One of them was building the pulmonary center. My current dream is building the online wellness program, which is in progress, okay? But I also recognize that something could go wrong and I may not get to complete that. And that's, a, that's not a, a, a negative thought, it's a real thought, okay? And I don't try to make things negative and I don't try to make things positive. Um, I try to make things positive when I can, but, but one thing that I, I tell you over and over again is that my greatest value or one of the things that I value most in life is authenticity. And the fact of the matter is that nobody wants to hear certain things, but people do die young. There's, there's a great, great, passage and song and line from the musical Hamilton where they say why do you write like you're running out of time why do you write like you're running out of time talking about you know just the prolific and non-stop nature um, that Hamilton takes to his work and to his writing with the idea that my goal is to come of age and create this nation that will outlast me. And whenever I hear that, my God, I really identify with it, okay? Um, James Dean, dream as if you live forever, live as if you'll die today. Um, and again, I'm talking about health also, but I'm talking about life goals. I'm talking about the things that you wanna do, okay? Don't put them off. 
okay? Uh, we have a lot of things that we say, well, when this happens, I'm going to take this trip. When this happens, I'm going to buy that gift for myself that I've always wanted. When this happens, I'm going to tell my grandchild X, Y, and Z. Again, I'm not trying to be morbid. I'm trying to be realistic. And I'm trying to say to you, make sure that you get the things done that you want to get done and make sure you live the life that you lead or make sure that you live the life you want to live. A reality now, okay? So dream as if you'll die today and make sure that you accomplish all those dreams as quickly as possible. Uh, and it doesn't mean rush into everything today. It just means be aware that time is the one of the things that we have the least control out of. So, so again, dream as if you'll die today. Live as if you will live forever and make sure that you're living the life that you want that allows you to have control of your breath, that allows you to have control of your bodily functions, that allows you to have control of your self-care, that allows you to have control over all the things in your life that until you've lost them, you may not recognize their value, okay? So again, in the interest of keeping ourselves on track, perfect journal post, okay? So put down some of the things that are your life dreams, okay? And put down some of the things that, you know what, given the opportunity, this would be your dream to be able to have this, this, and this. If I had my dream, it would be that this is named after me. If I had my dream, it would be that my grandchildren X, Y, and Z. If I had my dream, it would be that my children can blank, blank, blank. Okay? So those are the dreams. And those are the things we work for and strive for. Okay? But it's the day-to-day. -day. It's the day-to-day -day little things like being able to get up and out of bed, being able to shower and dress yourself being able to prepare your own meals, being able to do your own shopping, do your own laundry, being able to go to a play once in a while, okay? These are the things, it's these day-to-days that really impact our quality of life. And it's these day-to-days that when taken away from us, those are the things we really miss. The ability to make yourself a good cup of coffee, the ability and the, 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 the power to not have to rely on somebody else. So essentially what I'm saying is carpe diem, seize the day, and take control of your own destiny or make, take steps to take control of your own destiny, okay? And from a health perspective, that still means taking your medications properly, exercise, eating for longevity, managing your stress, anxiety, and depression, and prevention of infection, okay? James Dean, dream as if you will live forever, live as if you'll die today. Noah Greenspan, dream as if you will die today, live as if you will live forever. Have a great day, my friends. Food for thought. I finished up my studies and I practiced rehab, I practiced rehab. How do you account for his rise to the top? Man, the man is non-stop. Pulmonary, 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 pulmonary. Center, center, center! No, center. Yes, center. Hearts! Yes, hearts. Lungs. No smokers. No, no, no. No exercise. Yes, yes, yes. Woohoo! Oh! Dear little monkey, what to say to you? 
of my eyes And you have your mother's name When you came into the world you cried my heart right. Noah's skill with the quill is undeniable Now what do we have in common? We're reliable with the ladies There are so many to devour Ladies, I push you to not devour Ladies, I'm indestructible Monkey, when you smile, I am undone, my son. Look at my son. Pride is not the word I'm looking for. There is so much more inside me now. Oh, you will shine in the morning, son. My son. When you smile, I fall apart. After school, I went back to New York. Uh, after school, I went back to New York. I finished all my studies and I practiced rehab. I practiced rehab. Marin work next door. Finished all my studies and I practiced rehab. I practiced rehab. Marion. Graduate and join to join the revolution. He looked at me like I was stupid. I'm not stupid. So how'd you do it? I graduated so fast. Well, what's up? Let me offer you some free advice. Talk less. My uncle Noah. I was chosen for the pulmonary convention. Now what I'm gonna say might sound indelicate. Rehab. Rehab. Who the f is this? Yo, who the f is this? Why do you assume you're the smartest in the room? He is. Why do you assume you're the smartest in the room? He is. Why do you assume you're the smartest in the room? He is. To make me your goal. Monkey Monk got sick after writing five. Marion wrote twenty-nine. Uncle Noah wrote the other fifty-one. Days. He's a lot of fun, but there is no one who can match him for turn on phrase. Yo, who the f is this? I am off to Costa Rica. I am accompanied by someone who always pays. I found a wealthy uncle who will keep me in comfort for all my days. He is a lot of fun, but there is no one that can match him for turn on phrase. My uncle Noah, don't forget to write. Sure, four. You cut it? We'll give the world to you and you'll blow us all away. Someday, someday. Yeah, you'll blow us all away. My uncle, like I know my own mind, you will never find anyone as trusting or as kind. Happy birthday!